I guess the best thing about NSDF for me was that it gave me a sense of a creative community. Oh, nice. So the other students that I met there and the other practitioners and people running workshops and things, I didn't feel like I knew anything about this world or people who worked in it. And it was the first mm. time I really met people who were engaged in that way. And it feels really wonderful now. I think similar. I think one thing about like, if you're like a student drama festival, then you're in a student hub. Um, and there's like a lot of love you get from being like a student community that's your own. But I think when you go out and you're trying to get the respect of your peers, that's a quite magical and exciting thing. Because like, since, since I was young, like getting the respect of your peers, that's the thing. Do you know what I mean? That's the most important thing. Rap battle in the playground. Your peers respect you, then it's good. You survive, kind of. Um, so I think that and earning respect of other people who are both young like you, but also creative like you, and have similar ambitions like you, and to gain their respect in an honest way, that's quite a nice and exciting challenge. So, um, after the last NSDF I did in 2014, I um, auditioned there for a play that was directed by Alan Lane, who runs Slunglow Theatre Company with Lucy Lane, and uh, it was written by James Phillips, and it was called The White Well, and that was my first professional gig in the summer after NSDF. Um, and so since then, every sort of theatrical adventure I've been on, I can directly link back to Alan and James and Slung Low in that first play um, because they say nice things about me and people give me money to perform. NSDF 19. Be part of something.